This video is brought to you by Sony. Learn what happens when artists meet engineers. What's up, everybody? Welcome to a PlayStation Conversation. I'm Greg Miller, and this is the Pride of Long Island, Colin Moriarty. Colin, Hello, how are you? It's good to see you. Good to see you. I've missed you. I haven't talked to you lately. Uh, Colin, today mm -hmm. on the PlayStation Store, it's going to get updated. Boop! And this 14 for 14 sale is going to go. 14 games for your PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita at incredibly discounted prices. Right. Now, of course, this news has been alive on IGN forever. You read it and watch the video, so you know all about it. Instead of going through all 14 games, Colin, you and I have filed secret ballots, mm -hmm. which we will now share with each other to see if we could only pick three PlayStation 3 games and three PlayStation Vita games, what they would be and why. All right, so how do you want to do it? You go first. But do we want to go one and one? One and one? Okay. Like I name a game and then you name a game? Sure. Or I good. name three games and then you name three games? No, let's go one and one and okay. one. Okay, so PlayStation 3 first. Okay, yeah, PlayStation 3 first. Sounds good. Uh, Enslaved is the first game I chose. Okay. It's a, it's a really interesting uh, game from uh, Ninja Theory. These are yeah. the guys that did uh, Heavenly, Sh Heavenly Sword. Sword? Uh, the old PlayStation 3 exclusive uh, from 2007. Enslaved is the next game after Heavenly Sword. Not, not related to it at no. all, though. But I think it's a really interesting third-person kind of action-adventure game. Uh, interesting story, kind of beautiful graphics, very right. very lush and vivid. Uh, kind of a forgotten game. Yeah. And you can have it for five bucks. It's one of those games that was a little bit Last of Us before Last of Us. Yeah. Right? You're running around this overgrown city, you know, like the time forgot kind of thing. Like, I couldn't help but notice the eye roll when I said Enslaved, though. I don't I'm really not a huge enslaved. I don't really I'm not appreciate <laughs> that. <laughs> well, as long as you're yeah. honest about mm -hmm. it and we talk about it, mm -hmm. I'm just saying there are better picks on this list. Okay. Like... Far Cry Blood Dragon, okay. great first-person shooter. Mm. Uh, the standalone mm. digital package of uh, Far Cry. There, it's you know this whole it's a you know a Michael Bean '80s movie. You're running around with neon. They've got all these cool sound effects. It's fun. It's funny. It's only three dollars seventy-five cents. Heads up, we're going to be talking prices in here. We are only talking about the PlayStation Pro Plus price point right. because if you don't have PlayStation Plus. You got a problem. You need to check your life choices. Yeah, but you still, even if you don't have PlayStation Plus, you still get like 50% off all the games. Right. I think these are like 75 Regular price for Far Cry for existence would have been $14.99. Sale price, $7.49. PlayStation Plus price, $3.00. 75 cents. Yeah, and I know, you know, you know, people, we, we talk a lot about PlayStation Plus's value and everything, oh, money hats and money hats, but, but really you're just leaving hundreds of dollars a year possibly on the table by not just paying $50 a year up front. Like, I don't understand why you wouldn't have PlayStation Plus. Th these kinds of deals. We've literally been banging this drum since it launched. Yeah. So yeah. if we haven't turned them by now, no there ain't, There ain't no helping you then. Uh, go play your Mac 2 games. My second game is Puppeteer. Ah, Puppeteer. Okay. You can have Puppeteer for seven bucks. This is a retail release. Now, it only cost 40 bucks when it came out. It's from Sony's Studio Japan. Yeah. Uh, and it's a it's a fantastic game that no one played. Right, um, that's 100% and, true. And it's, it's too bad because Puppeteer is a, a beautiful game. It's got a really unique art style to it. Uh, Kudaro is a, an interesting character. He has a, a pair of uh, scissors that he cuts around the environment with. The, the, the mechanics are totally unique. You've never played anything like it. Right. Uh, so for seven bucks, Puppeteer, Puppeteer's worth 20 or 30 or 40 bucks, but yeah. Puppeteer for seven bucks is a steal. So yeah. definitely, definitely pick up Puppeteer. Give that game a go. Uh, I really am sad that more people didn't play it. But Sony sent it out to die, so that's their problem. Well, here they go. They're trying to revive it with the 14 for 14 sale. So my second PlayStation 3 game I am telling you to buy from this sale is Thomas Was Alone. Mm. Great little mm. indie title. It's cross by. It's cute. It's funny. It's got a British narrator. What's not to love? And again, $2.50. Plus, cross if you have a Vita, that's two. You're getting your game on two platforms. A dollar, a dollar twenty-five per platform. Oof, that's a great one. That's yeah. math on the no, fly, everybody. Look at the brain on this guy, huh, ladies? Northeastern University. Hit him up. No taxation. Uh, my third and final PlayStation Three game is a, a JRPG called Tales of Exilia. Mm, I knew this was going to be there. And you can have this game for ten dollars. This is a sixty-dollar game. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's a, I reviewed it last summer on PS3. It's uh, it's a fantastic game. 2013 was kind of about a JRPG renaissance, at least for me. There were yeah. A lot of PS3 games, uh, PS3 exclusive JRPGs that were awesome, and then they kept coming out, like like Disgaea D2 and all these games that people really enjoy. And Tales of Exilia is one of those games. Nino Kuni, of course. Of course. The best of the forget? bunch. Uh, Curse of the White Witch. Wrath. Damn it. Wrath of the White Witch. Thought I was close. You're real close. Real close. Whoa. Kind of the same thing. Yeah. Uh, but Exilia is is a fantastic game. Right. Um, and I, I really implore JRPG fans to pick it up. Tales of Exilia 2 comes out this year on PS3. And Tales of Zestaria was just announced for PS3 as well. So Tales is, is, is getting, you know, undergoing this sort of resurgence as well, which is really exciting. So get in on the ground floor, Greg, okay. with Exilia. Speaking I know you won't. Speaking of getting in on the ground floor PlayStation way, my next pick is The Wolf Among Us Season Pass. Now, this is what I like to call a gamble. Currently, Episode 1 is the only one that's been released. 
Pretty much everyone loved it. I don't think I've heard anybody say I didn't like it, it wasn't great. Looks really w good. It's from Telltale, The Walking Dead, guys. Runs better than The Walking Dead ran. It's interesting, right? Same idea, choose your own adventure kind of thing. Problem is, episode two hasn't come out yet. And it's one of those things, you know, Telltale never puts a date on anything, but we've been waiting a while here. It's clear something's happened with it. However, at a discounted price, you know, it's a regular 20 bucks, now you can get it for 13. Might as well. Yeah. I, I trust them. I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't turn out like, uh, Oh, Back to the Future back to the or Jurassic future. Park? Jurassic Park was even worse. The real actually, example but. of that, of course, is Back to the Future, which started off strong and then fell apart at the end, whereas Jurassic Park was just a turd from the get-go. Mm, I didn't even bother with that one. No. What do you got for Vita? PlayStation Vita. Beloved PlayStation Vita. Let's start with Killzone Mercenary. I knew you'd have this on your list. I have two, so that just counts. Great first-person mm -hmm. shooter. Yeah, the best first-person shooter on Vita. Not that there's a smorgasbord <laughs> of, of FPSs on Vita, but this is a fantastic game from uh, Sony's very own uh, Guerrilla Cambridge. Used to be known as Sony Cambridge. Uh, so they understand the hardware, they understand the engine. They got Killzone 3's engine running on Vita, which is extraordinary. So this is a pretty game too. But I really like Mercenary's approach because you can pick it up and play it for 10 or 15 minutes at a time, or yeah. you can play it for hours at a time, uh, and you can play it online. Uh, yeah. So And they're adding a bunch of stuff to it. New maps, bot modes, and all these kinds of things right. this year. So Mercenary's uh, support continues. It's beautiful. It's I fun. Recommend. I love the melee combat. Mm. That's why I put it on my list. Again, only $9 there. That's right now $36 on the PlayStation Network. Uh, here's, since I, you knocked that one out mm. for me, I don't have to worry about giving its proper credit. I'll start with a PlayStation portable game, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Only $5. Mm. I said it publicly, and I will say it again. This is the best game of last generation. Last generation being PlayStation 3 and all that jazz mm. shoved together, right? I love that's Peace Walker. I know it is, and I stand by it. Amazing game, amazing combat, fun, built for the portable experience. Can't recommend it enough. I really want them to bring HD with trophies version of that to Vita. Yeah, as I was going to say, totally no trophies on Vita. Exactly. Only PlayStation, yeah, PSP, no trophies either, obviously. PS3, though. But if you had, if you bought the HD collection on PS3, you'd have Peace Walker and HD there with trophies, so just give me that. What's your problem? Mm -hmm. Next up, this was tough because the Vita games, a lot of good Vita games. Yeah, I thought the Vita list was actually better than the PlayStation 3. Uh, but my next pick is Soul Sacrifice. Soul Sacrifice. Now, we talked when Soul Sacrifice came out in the spring of 2013 that this wasn't, everyone expected that this was kind of going to be the game that might have saved Vita. And, right. and it, it didn't end up being that game. It's, it's a good game, though. And it's from Keiji Inafune, the guy who made Mega Man and uh, Dead Rising and Animusha. Um, and it's a Monster Hunter clone, um, but it's 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 Monster Hunter Plus in a way because it's got really a deep story, really rich narrative, um, and I really enjoyed playing it. I mm -hmm. wish there was more to it, um, and there is a sequel coming out or a 1.5 kind of sequel called Soul Delta. Sacrifice Delta, not confirmed yet for North America. Gotcha. Uh, but uh, Soul Sacrifice is a, is a great game that can you know, it's a good time sink 40, 50, 60 hours you can spend with that game, uh, and for nine dollars on Vita, uh, you can't really go wrong. Speaking of time sinks on Vita, IGN way, my next pick is Pixel Junk Monsters mm. Ultimate HD. Uh, this is only $3.75. Trophies galore. It's all the great parts of Pixel Junk from PlayStation 3 and then the PSP version in glorious HD on your Vita. Plays like a dream. Multiplayer's there. I can't say enough about this tower yeah, defense still game. still hard as hell. Oh my god, it's G hard. The game really ramps. If you want those rainbows, you are in trouble. Yeah, it's yeah. a really good game though. Yeah. Uh, really happy that that came to Vita. The final game, I guess, since we both picked Killzone, right? This yeah. Be, this is it. Velocity Ultra for two dollars. Velocity, yeah, Velocity Ultra for two dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Velocity Ultra was actually one of our Game of the Year uh, choices for Vita when we nominated five games. Yeah. Uh, narrowly lost, actually. Uh, very easily one of Vita's best games. And uh, for two bucks, you really can't go wrong. Interesting little space shooter. It uses the touchscreen. You can use the analog sticks. Um, and it was so popular on Vita that it came to PS3, uh, and we're getting a sequel on PS4 called Velocity 2X. So this is a good place to uh, kind of jump in and start and see what it's all about. This game flew under a lot of people's radar. Right. And for two bucks, it's just like a, you know, half of a cup of coffee or something from Starbucks. Yeah. And again, though, so many great games, right? Spelunky is on here, mm. uh, Stealth Inc., The Walking Dead, mm. the entire first season. Mm. Vita got the way better, 14 for 14, yeah. if you ask me. Yeah, Vita, Vita has a great lineup. Stop saying there are no Vita games because you don't know Stop what you're talking saying. about. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of the 14 for 14? sale. What are you going to pick up? Let us know in the comments, then share this video with your friends so they can come tell us what they were going to buy and how stupid Colin and I are. But we're not. We love each other and we always will. For everything about the PlayStation brand, games, and such, keep it here on iTunes.